Hello and welcome to Rock Solid Productions, where in this video we're going to show you how to update your 8-bit dough retro receiver to work with the SNES Classic and possibly make it work with a hacked NES Classic. Hi everyone, Gary here with Rock Solid Productions, and if you've seen our videos recently on the Super NES Classic Edition, you know that we absolutely love it. One of the things though that we are okay with, but didn't weren't really thrilled with, was the fact that it had a corded controller. And while the cord is considerably longer than what the NES Classic came with, it's still kind of short. Yeah, we can use extension cables to get around that, but ideally a wireless solution would be perfect. Now, 8-Bit Doe, who we have the website up in the background here, has a setup where you can get a 2.4 gigahertz uh, retro receiver and controller to work with the SNES Classic, but they have just announced firmware for the retro receiver for the NES Classic that also works with the SNES Classic so that the A, B, X, Y, L, and R buttons are all mapped correctly. Now in theory, that should allow you to use this dongle with either their, uh, their SF, or I'm sorry, their SNES 30 gamepad, their SF 30 gamepad, the Super Famicom 30 gamepad. Uh, also with the, uh, this is the NES 30 gamepad, or Game Pro. In addition, theoretically, you should be able to use PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, Joy-Cons, or the Switch Pro Controller with this too. So we're gonna walk you through the steps here on our desktop and what we do to uh, download the software, update the firmware, and then we're gonna test it first of all in the SNES Classic, see how it works. And then we are gonna hook up the NES Classic, which I have hacked, um, and I've used HackChi to be able to install other game system games on this system, including Super Nintendo games and Genesis games. To this point, I've been limited to just the AB uh, button here on this controller when I'm playing wirelessly. So I, if I was trying to play Super NES or Genesis games on my NES Classic, didn't really work well. So why would I even care about doing that? Well, if I can do that with this, then what I'll end up doing is I'll leave my Super NES Classic alone. I'm not gonna hack it because I can do it all with the NES Classic. So uh, let's turn to the computer and get started. So here we are on the 8 Do website, www.8bitdo.com, and I'll put the links down in the description. Click on the support tab, and on the very top you have choices to download manuals, firmware or tools. First thing we're going to do is we're going to download the firmware and firmware 1.07, that's the latest version. We're going to download that. So once we have that downloaded, what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide this out of the way and just drag this to my desktop real quick and create a new folder. So that way what I can do is I can just extract this, extract all, browse, and 8 do Retro Receiver. Select folder, extract. Now I'm using my crappy desktop on here. It's a Celeron processor, really kind of a pooch, but um, just so you know what it uh, it might be a little bit slower than what your system would be. So let's go into the README. And supports uh, SNES SFC Classic, support DS Pro Controller, support 8-Bit Do N30 Arcade. Um, so this is the biggest one, is the fact that with 1.07, you get the Super NES Super Famicom Classic. And you can go down and see the other uh, options for the firmware. All right, so within here, we are gonna open up the uh, receiver tools for update. One of the things that's really important to do is you need to make sure that you're holding down the pair button as you plug in the micro USB cable. The light on the back of the retro receiver should flash green. So here you can see I have my retro receiver is connected. I currently am on version 1.05 and now I'm going to hit update 
to select the firmware. There's firmware 1.07. And new firmware is going to be installed. Hit OK. Now it's really important on here, if you plug it in and then hit the pair button, it's not going to work properly. Uh, it'll actually read as a PS3 controller. Updated OK. So I'm going to actually unplug the retro receiver at this point. I'm going to hold down the button and plug it in again just to verify the firmware now on it. Version 1.07. We're updated here. We're going to pair it to one of our controllers and turn our attention to the TV. All right, so it took a few seconds to get everything paired from my Ipado, the Super NES style wireless gamepad. And right now we're gonna just hit the select button. Takes me to the main menu. So far, so good. Uh, one of the games I know that we can quickly and easily check to see if the uh, ABXYLR is working properly is let us go to Super Mario World. And one player game. So far, so good. The D-pad feels really stout. Hey now, this is working. Ha <laughs> ha, gotta love it. So here's the R button. And let's go back to the L button. All right, those are all working just fine. So there is A, B, Y, and X, which both of those seem to do the exact same things, but this feels really, really good. Um, I'm gonna pause. Now I've heard rumors that you can press down and select and it'll take you back to the home menu. Let's down, select. Holy crap! That is awesome. Down and select is home. Just for that alone, you need to do this. All right, so let's see one other one real quick. Um, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Let's go back to Street Fighter. I feel like I have to uh, redeem myself a little bit here. Oh, please don't suck. Please don't suck. So far, so good. Ah! Oh, dirty, rotten, such and such. Get them back with a uh, Hadouken! Now, one thing I want to try is a Shuriken to see if I can do that. That's towards, down, down, and towards. Oof. He is, uh... Man, I'm just trying to pull off that one move and he's just not cooperating. Yeah, I can do the shuriken. All right, we're going to three. Um, doesn't feel any different from the wired gamepad, to be honest with you. Um, I think I would have done better there if I would have just been concentrating on trying to beat him versus trying to pull off a, a Hidoken or a, a, a Shuriken. No! Thank you, Lord. Okay, so this works just fine with the SNES Classic. 
I want to know now if it works with the NES Classic that has been hacked with Hack Chi. So we're going to change things out here and see if it works. So now we have the NES Classic hooked up to our capture device and I have the uh, NES 30 Pro that I'm using here. As you can see on screen, um, I've got it working just fine. Um, let's scroll back now to where I can change systems because I have, again, like I mentioned, hacked this with Hack Chi. So I'm going to go back. And here's where I can select the systems. Let's go to Super NES. And what's a game that is not on... Um, the NES Classic so that there's no question that I'm actually using this. Um, Turtles in Time. So I'm wondering here if there's a, there is. So control type a uh, jump. Let's see if I can hit, uh, it doesn't respond to that. Okay, wanted to just see if I could change the controls by hitting a button on here. Um, so we're gonna do one player. And I always liked Donatello myself and Michelangelo. Raphael, not so much. So, scene one, the Big Apple, 3 a.m. Uh, that's why. Um, all of the buttons are working here, so that's pretty awesome. So this tells me that I am not going to hack my NES or SNES Classic because this does what I need it to do. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, where's another game? Okay, I'm going to down and home or down and select to go back to the home. Let's go to Final Fight. And again, my, I'm going to check and see if this has a menu in here that I can actually hit like A, B, X, Y on here to try to configure the controls so that we know for sure uh, right out of the box that it works and it doesn't spend too long since I've played, so. All right. B, Y, X doesn't anything. And I've got just two buttons working right now. Such a great beat em up. This is really one that should have been on the SNES Classic. It's kind of a shame that it wasn't. So super cool, Final Fight works as well. So one of the things I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go up a level. Let's see if some Genesis games work. So I'm not gonna try the N64 games just because this system really struggles with that. Um, so let's go into Sega Genesis. Let's see what we have. Altered Beast Animaniacs. Um, that's what I want. I want some Earthworm Jim. Options. Joypad. Normal. So Y is working to change the difficulty whip fire jump nope jump whip fire nope nope jump fire whip yes so let's try that so this will be interesting so I think I have jump fire whip so B should be jump Y is fire A would be whip so Y Fire, jump, whip. Ha <laughs> ha, yes! This is awesome! So, um, it works to play Genesis games. That's pretty flippin' sweet. We're going to launch the cow because it's one of the funniest parts of any game.
All right, we're gonna pause it here. So at the end of the day, doing the firmware update for the 8-bit dough retro receiver does a lot more than just let you use, uh, you know, the 8-bit dough uh, Super NES gamepad with your Super NES Classic. It allows you to really unlock if you've used Hackchi on your NES Classic and really take that to the next level too. Um, before, what you had to do is either use a wired controller uh, or some other solution like that to be able to play SNES or Genesis games on your NES Classic. And now this firmware update completely eliminates those issues. So uh, if you have one of these, highly recommend go and download the firmware update. If you don't have one of these yet, what you can do, head on over to castlemaniagames.com. They have the controllers, they have the, uh, the wireless receiver and everything that you would need right on there. What you can do, if you use promo code ROX10, you can actually save 10% on your order. Pretty sweet. Thanks to Ryan and the folks at Castlemania Games for supporting us here at Rock Solid Productions with that 10% promo code. Make sure that you hit them up on Twitter too. Let them know how much you appreciate that as well. So uh, absolute success here. I am tickled pink. I am giddy. I am excited. This is this is what I have been waiting for. And uh, it's here. And I'm glad that 8 Doe has come back and updated their existing product. Uh, not just released. They do have their two new controllers that are 2.4 gigahertz. But I'm glad that the install base for these guys didn't get left behind. If you do have any comments or questions about anything that you've seen here today on the 8-bit Doe Retro Receiver, on any of the 8-bit Doe controllers, the SNES Classic, the NES Classic, or anything along those lines, feel free to leave a comment down below. Also feel free to email us at rocksolidmail at gmail.com. We answer each and every message uh, that we get through there. You can also go ahead, hit us up on Twitter at Rock Solid Studios. We're on Facebook at facebook.com slash rocksolidproductions. And don't forget too, if you have not done so yet, and if we have not reached 500 subscribers yet, make sure that you subscribe to the page because once we hit 500 subscribers, we are going to give away an RES Plus 8-bit NES clone system from Retrobit. So you want to make sure that you subscribe to the channel to stay up to date too. So I've got some more games to play. I am super excited about this new feature. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.